This is Chemistry Plus YouTube channel. Made for Standard 11th and 12th. To get the daily new videos and updates, please subscribe the channel. If you have any questions or queries, write to Kalpana Desai dot r at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you. Now let us see mechanism of hydrolysis of third butyl bromide. The rate expression obtained from kinetic study is rate which equal to this rate constant and rate depends on the concentration of this third butyl bromide only that is in slow step of the reaction this molecule is only involved now see here in this rate law equation rate expression only one molecule is involved therefore it is a unimolecular That is molecular it is 1. The exponent is 1. Therefore it is a first order kinetic. It is a first order reaction. That is first order kinetic. It follows the first order kinetic. It means that it is a SN1 reaction. That is SN1 reaction means substitution is N for nucleophilic and one that is a unimolecular now see here only this molecule is involved in the slow step of the reaction it means that this nucleophile that is OH minus is involved in another step that is other step is also there that is, this reaction takes place in two steps. Now consider first step. In first step, what happens? Only this one is involved, which is slow step. And here breaking of CBR bond takes place. Okay. Consider the step first. Heterolysis of CBR bond or CX1, remaining allusion, retrolysis of CBR1. Now, this bond breaks heterolytically. See here, CS3, thrice C, this is a BR, BR is electronegative, it pulls the electron towards itself. Then this BR along with this electron pair is removed as a BR minus. This step is reversible and slow. Reversible and slow. Okay. And what is formed? If it is, if this BR takes this two electron, then this is carbon with a positive charge that is carbocation is formed with this CS3. Then this one is another CS3. Then next CS3, this is the third CS3. With this positive charge, that is, this is a carbocation intermediate is formed. And this Br minus. Now this carbocation is stabilized. This carbocation is stabilized by inductive effect. Here this 1 CS3 group. Second and three, three CS3 groups are electron donating inductive effect. And there is also hyperconjugation. Three alpha carbon atoms, therefore nine alpha hydrogen atoms. Therefore, by hyperconjugation and by inductive effect, this is stabilized. Okay. Now, in step second, step second, now this carbocation is formed on which nucleophile attacks, that is, OH minus attacks, therefore attack of the nucleophile. Attack of the nucleophile. Okay. Now consider this is a 
कार्बो कैटाइन नाउ अटैक ऑफ ओ एच माइनस आई सी हियर नाउ दैट कार्बो कैटाइन व्हिच इज फॉर्म इट इज अ प्लेनर दैट इज दिस वन सी एस थ्री देन सेकेंड सी एस थ्री एंड दिस वन इज थर्ड सी एस थ्री सपोज दिस इज द कार्बन दैट इज दिस इज अ प्लेनर कार्बो कैटाइन दे आर फोर अटैक टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम दिस साइड और फ्रॉम दिस साइड ओके दे आर फोर अटैक्स it is a highly reactive therefore it reacts immediately with this nucleophile to form third butyl alcohol okay now this is the fast reaction that is a fast step and this one is slow step that is a rate determining step rate depends on this reaction only in this reaction this molecule is involved that is rate depends only on This third butyl bromide. Now consider what are the silent feature of this mechanism. Okay. Silent feature. Now consider first one. First, it is a two-step mechanism. It is a two-step mechanism. Now. Second feature. What happens in a first step? Yes, in first step, electrolytically this bond breaks and carbocation intermediate is formed. It is a planar carbocation. That explanation here. Then third feature. What happens in the second step? Yes, it is a reactive carbocation. It takes place and third butyl alcohol is formed. That is explanation of second step. Then. Four point. Now suppose here the if this third butyl bromide, that is if this starting material is a chiral molecule, that is contain one car chiral carbon, that is it is attached to four different atoms or groups. Then what happens here? This carbocation which is formed. Now attack takes place from the either side. Therefore, suppose now these three different groups are there. These 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 three different groups are there. Suppose attack takes place from the same side. That is that from present here B R. That is from this side. Then this this type of product is formed here. Okay. And if it attack takes place from this side, that is opposite to this, then exactly its enantiomer, its optical isomers, enantiomer is formed. Okay, means that the fifty percent, the retention of configuration here, and fifty percent inversion of configuration. That is, it gives a racemic mixture. That is, racemization takes place. Gives a formation of racemic mixture if the starting material is a chiral molecule. Okay, then it gives a mixture of racemic mixture that is racemization takes place. That is in case of SN two, the inversion of configuration takes place. While in case of SN one, racemization takes place. We studied. Hydrolysis of methyl bromide, okay, by SN2 mechanism, and then hydrolysis of third butyl bromide by SN1 mechanism. Now this is a general nucleophilic substitution reaction. Either it follows SN2 mechanism or SN1 mechanism. It depends on some factors. We are going to learn factors influencing. SN two and SN one mechanism, which are the factor, very simple, depends on this, this and solvent. See here, first factor depends on the nature of the substrate, nature of the substrate. Second, nucleophilicity of this reagent. Then, 
polarity of the solvent that is solvent polarity let us see one by one factor okay now first nature of the substrate maine pehle hi draw karke rakha hai to save the time okay let us see now first what is the effect of nature of substrate on sn2 mechanism first okay now see here in case of sn2 mechanism it follows or it takes place in only one state and the transition state is formed it is a penta coordinate you studied that part five bonds are there one two three and this partial two bonds are there half minus half minus charges are there on incoming nucleophile and leaving group yes you studied this part okay now consider suppose if this alkyl halide is a methyl okay suppose if it is a methyl is taken then this this type of transition state is formed then take ethyl that is here ch3 h h that is this is a primary alkyl halide okay then suppose take isopropyl ch3 CH3 and H that is secondary alkyl halide. Okay, then take third butyl that is all these three groups are methyl that is it is a tertiary alkyl halide. Now observe the transition state of each alkyl halide. Now see here the crowding goes on increasing. This is a bulky group. Here the small three groups are there. It is a one bulky group that is larger group that is there is a crowding steric effect is there. Here two methyl groups, bulky groups, more crowding. Here three methyl groups again crowding is increased. It means that crowding goes on increasing. Here therefore which transition state is more stable? This one that is stability is in this order. Okay. that is transition state of primary sorry for methyl then for primary then secondary and then tertiary that is rate of reaction will be more for by sn2 mechanism it is more for primary then secondary and then tertiary that is it is favored for sn2 mechanism is favored for primary methyl halide is considered as a primary alkyl halide therefore it is favored for primary alkyl halide okay understood this now next consider same nature of substrate for sn1 mechanism now sn1 mechanism it takes place in two state in first state formation of carbocation carbocation is formed in a first state that is a slow state okay rate depends on this one now consider if this carbocation is a methyl carbocation then if it is a ethyl that is primary and if it is isopropyl that is secondary and if it is third butyl that is for tertiary okay then which carbocation is more stable yes stability of carbocation now it is a electron deficient species okay it depends on here two factors yes first one see here plus i inductive effect methyl group have a plus i inductive effect here no methyl group here one methyl group here two methyl groups which are electron donating and here three methyl groups which are electron donating like this Oh, sorry only two methyl groups here only one methyl group is electron donating then which one is more stable here it is more stable because three alkyl groups are there which are electron donating one more factor see here this is a alpha carbon next to carbocation that is positively charged carbon here three alpha carbon atoms has nine alpha hydrogen therefore hyper conjugable structures are this structure plus that nine that is 10 here this 
6 plus this one, then this 3 plus this one, that is 4 structure, no hyperconjugable structure. That is more and more hyperconjugable structure, more will be the stability. Okay. Therefore, by inductive effect and hyperconjugation effect, the, this is more stable, therefore it easily forms and it has a more stability. Therefore, for SN1 reaction, the tertiary alkyl halide it's uh, SN1 reaction or SN1 mechanism is favored for tertiary alkyl halide. Therefore, primary, secondary and tertiary alkyl halide. SN1 mechanism is favored for tertiary alkyl halide while SN2 mechanism is favored for primary alkyl halide. Okay, understand this one. Now consider nucleophilicity of the reaction. This is only for the understanding purpose. Remember only this point. Okay. But once you understand this point, then you can write the answer of any MCQ or any question. You should know why this sequence is here. Okay. Now next consider. Next factor is nucleophilicity of the reagent. Okay. That is C here. Now, in case of this alkyl halide, that is that alkyl halide as well as nucleophile both are involved in this closed step of the reaction. Okay, that is the nucleophilicity that is the strength of this nucleophile affects the rate of reaction. Okay, now consider if this nucleophile donates this pair of electron or that negative charge easily to the carbon atom, that is that alkyl group, that carbon atom, then the reaction will be fast. If it gives easily, readily, then that reaction will be fast one. That is, if it is a powerful reaction, then the reaction will be fast one. Okay, now consider the nucleophilicity of that nucleophile depends on which factor. Now you know the alkoxide ion. Alkoxide ion. Its conjugate acid is, conjugate acid means very simple. Add only H plus to that. It gives the conjugate acid. If add H plus, conjugate acid is formed. Then always the nucleophile or nucleophilicity of this nucleophile base is more than its conjugate acid. Then, next one. If you see the periodic table, in a, any period from left to right, the nucleophilicity goes on decreasing. Therefore, the NH3 is more powerful than water. Here it is a group number. Here first nitrogen and then oxygen. Therefore, here nucleophilicity goes on decreasing. Therefore, it is more nucleophilic. It has a more nucleophilicity than this one. And if you consider any group from top to bottom, the nucleophilicity goes on increasing. Consider halogen family, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Then it increases. Therefore, iodine has more nucleophilicity than chlorine. Okay, that is. If the nucleophilicity is more, if it is more powerful, then the attack will be easily and that reaction is fast one. That is on the SN2 reaction. Now consider SN1. SN1, in SN1 reaction, you know the rate expression. Rate only depends on the alkyl halide, not depends on the nucleophile. You may take this nucleophile or that nucleophile. It attacks in the fast step, that is, it is not involved in the rate determining step. Therefore, nucleophile has no effect on a rate of reaction because it is not involved in the rate determining step. Okay. Now, the last solvent polarity. Solvent polarity here, you know the polar solvent, non-polar solvent, water is a polar solvent. Okay. Now, in case of SN1 reaction, what happens? Carbocation is formed in the first step. Carbocation and the halide ions are formed. That is, cation and anions are formed. That is, ions are formed. 
ions are stabilized by is polar solvent. How? By solvation. What is mean by solvation? Is solvation. Solvation means either positively charged ion or negatively charged ion surrounded by solvent molecule that is called as solvation. Here the ions are formed in case of SN1 reaction. If you take the polar solvent with the protic polar solvent then more and more solvation takes place. It stabilized that carbocation is stabilized and the rate of reaction will be increased that is for protic and polar solvent favors the SN1 reaction. Okay. Why? Now consider in case of SN2. SN2 reaction, alkyl halide and that nucleophile. Both are involved in a slow state. Now here what happens? If polar solvent is used, that polar solvent solvated this nucleophile. That is this nucleophile surrounded by solvent molecule. That is solvation of this nucleophile takes place. Now it is not available for attack. Therefore, if we use the polar solvent for this, then rate of reaction decrease. Therefore, generally solvent with the low polarity favor SN2 reaction. Now remember only these three points is nature of substrate, primary SN2 mechanism is favored for primary while SN1 mechanism favored for tertiary. Next year, powerful nucleophile favors SN2 mechanism no effect. Here, low polarity and there the polar solvent. Here, remember the polar solvent favors SN1 reaction because that stabilizes carbocation which is formed by solvation. Now summary, primary alkyl halide follows SN2 mechanism while tertiary alkyl halide favors SN1 mechanism. Now what about secondary alkyl halide? Secondary alkyl halide undergoes substitution reaction by SN1 as well as SN2 reaction. Okay, next nucleophilicity, more powerful nucleophile favors SN2 reaction. More and more nucleophilicity, more will be the rate of SN2 reaction. Okay, no effect, effect of nucleophile, that is no effect on a SN1 reaction. Next, SN1 reaction proceeds rapidly for polar protic solvents. While for a protic or a solvent with a low polarity favor SN2 mechanism. Only remember this point. We studied SN2 mechanism, SN1 mechanism. Now question may be asked like this. Distinguish between SN2 and SN1. Very simple. How to remember the points? You studied the mechanism. Same points here. First what is example, then what is kinetics, then what is order, molecularity, states. And now you studied the nature, solvent, etc. Same points here. Okay. Let us consider one by one. Example. First you studied SN2, therefore I have taken here SN2 first. Okay, that is example, hydrolysis of methyl bromide. Yeah? Any methyl, any halide, that is methyl halide plus OH minus gives methyl alcohol X minus. That is example, hydrolysis of methyl halide. Here the example is hydrolysis of third butyl halide gives third butyl alcohol plus X minus. Okay, that is the example. Now next, second point is kinetics. Kinetics is rate of the reaction. Rate of the reaction here depends on both this as well as this. C 
CH3 X and OH minus. Okay. Next, here rate only depends on substrate that is alkyl halide, tert butyl halide only. Therefore, next point third order is one plus one. Therefore, it is a second order reaction. Second order kinetics or second order reaction. Here only one, therefore it is a first order kinetic. Next point, molecularity. Yes, molecularity means how many molecules involved in the rate determining state. Here this one, this one, two molecules. Therefore it is a bimolecular while it is unimolecular. Only one molecule is involved. Then next one, number of states. Number of states involved in mechanism. Is how many states are there? Only one state here. Remember, SN2 is a one state mechanism. <clears throat> here, in that state, both molecules are involved. Therefore, it is SN2. And here, for SN1, Two states are there. Okay. Next one. Now, next point. Nature of substrate. That is order of reactivity. Order of reactivity. Yes. Order of reactivity. First, it is favored for primary. Then secondary. Then tertiary. While it is tertiary. Then secondary and primary. Okay. Next point. Nucleophile. Effect of nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity. What happens here? Nucleophilicity. Stronger nucleophile favors SN2 mechanism. That is powerful nucleophile. Increases the rate of SN2 reaction while here no effect of effect nucleophile has no effect on the SN1 reaction. Then you can write one more solvent. Same, these three, three points are same as discussed earlier. Okay, here which solvent? A protic solvent or solvent with a low polarity favors. SN2 mechanism while here protic or the polar po protic and polar solvent favors or speed up the SN1 mechanism. You can write number of transition state then intermediate etc. Also okay. It's about the distinguish between SN1 and SN2 mechanism. Okay. I have written here first SN2. Now let us see question answers on this part that is reaction mechanism. Okay. Now I have taken these questions from the exercise of the textbook. Okay. Consider one by one. Let us see first this question as usual. Question number three. Multiple choice question. Choose the compound from the following that will react faster SN1. SN1 faster that is find out the tertiary. Okay. For SN1 tertiary alkylate react faster. Now one iodobutane indicates that it is a primary. It is a one iodobutane is a primary. Next B. One iodopropane it is also primary. Okay, then now I have given one trick to you. If both numbers are same, halogen and alkyl, that is tertiary. Now see here, butane, 2-methyl, 2-iodo, 2-methyl, 2-iodo. See this carbon atom is tertiary. 
this is the tertiary alkylalide. Now let us see one more example here. 2-iodo-3-methylbutane that is 2-iodo that is it is one secondary. See this is the secondary carbon. 2-iodo-3-methyl. Okay secondary. Which one react faster? Tertiary. Therefore answer is this one. Yes and one as is tertiary. First. Okay. Next one. S. Yes. Which one compound from the following pairs would undergo SN2 faster? See here. SN2 faster. Now, first consider this A. SN2 faster means find out primary. Now, see this one is primary carbon. This Halogen is attached to primary carbon and here it is attached to secondary. Therefore, which one? Answer is this one. This react faster. Okay. Now, find out from this one. See here, which one react faster? You know that the order of reactivity is Ri more reactive than RBR, which is more reactive than RCL, which is more reactive than RF, because the size goes on increasing from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Size increases, therefore bond length increases, therefore bond enthalpy decreases, therefore it is more reactive. Therefore answer is this one. Okay, and remember this one. Here Ri this is a Ri while this is a RCL. Therefore, it reacts faster. Now, next question. Question number one. It is last question given in exercise of our textbook. See here. Now, observe the following compound and answer the questions given below. Okay. Now, it is a vinylic halide that is vinyl halide okay and its resonance structure now first question its answer see here name the type of halogen derivatives yes it is a vinylic halide it is vinylic halide here halide is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom okay depending on carbon skeleton it is a haloarene you may sorry Haloalkene. Extremely sorry. Here it is a haloalkene. Next, depending on number of halogen atom, it is a monohalogen derivative. It is a monohalogen derivatives. Okay. This is a question. Name the type of halogen derivatives. Type of halogen derivatives. It is a vinylic halide. Okay. Next. Now B. Comment on the bond length of CX bond. This bond length is asked. Okay. Now see here what happens. Here this lone pair present on halogen is shifted here. Okay. Therefore it acquires a double bond. And then this double bond shifted here. This double bond shifted here. Okay. Again same. This shifted here and this shifted here. Again, this structure is formed. That is, these two are resonating structure. Here, if you observe this structure, then this CX bond acquire double bond character. Acquire double bond character. Therefore, what happens? It becomes shorter than the in case of normal alkyl halide. Compare the alkyl halide of the same carbon atom. Here, two carbon atoms. Therefore, consider alkyl halide of two carbon atom, which is X. Then the bond length in vinyl halide, this acquire double bond character. Therefore, it is shorter than this bond length. Okay, see X present in case of present in case of ethyl halide. Okay, it is shorter than it is shorter than this one. That is comment on the bond length of CX bond. Okay, bond length. It is shorter than this one. Okay. Next now consider C. 
can react by SN1 mechanism? Yes, what is SN1? SN1 means yes, X is halide is removed, living group removed and then carbocation is formed that is stabilized. Yes, is it possible? Is it possible to remove this X? Here, see here. Points. Here, this due to this resonance structure, actually the p orbital of this solution atom interact with the p orbital of this carbon. That is delocalization of electron takes place. And due to that, this Cx bond acquire a double bond. Means, it is firmly bound to this carbon. This halogen atom is firmly bound to this carbon. It is tightly held with this. It is strongly attached with this. Therefore, it is difficult to remove that halogen. And suppose if it is removed, then the stability of the carbocation is difficult. That is, the SN1 mechanism is not possible at normal condition. Actually, due to such a double bond character, actually this vinylic halide, that is this halogen atom, present on the vinyl group is quite inert. Actually, under normal condition, vinyl halide does not undergo hydrolysis, no reaction. Actually, no substitution reaction, no nucleophilic substitution reaction. Then no nucleophilic substitution reaction, then no SN mechanism. It Nucleophilic substitution is not there. Then how SN1 mechanism is possible? Okay. Actually, SN reactions are not possible because this is quite inert due to presence of this CX double bond character. Okay. It's about the answer. Okay. Now, let us see in our next lecture, the last part from this topic, hello arenes and that is very interesting part. Okay, now in next lecture we will start Hello Arians. It is the last part of this topic. Okay. This is Chemistry Plus YouTube channel. Made for Standard 11th and 12th. To get the daily new videos and updates, please subscribe the channel. If you have any questions or queries, write to kalpanadesai.r at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.